so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Habib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. You ready to fight? Ready? Good. Well, they say everybody loses in mixed martial arts. I guess everybody except the Eagle. Khabib Nurmagomedov, impossibly difficult to get this guy off of you once he takes you down. How do you prevent that from happening is the question for the opponent tonight. Nice job by Nurmagomedov mixing it up here on the feet, DC. I know you can speak to this as well as anyone. His striking has really started to catch up with the rest. Cut to the chin, lands, and it... Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Khabib's back in side control. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. And very effective with the ground and pound. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle's tight. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nurmago Medov getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get as he finally makes his way back to his feet. Back and forth we go. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Big shot to the head. Nurmanko Medov gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Ooh, right into side control, DC. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. He's attacking the Kimura. Watch for him to step over to try to get him up on his hip. He's out. What's the mission defense on this play? And now he's in a guillotine. Oh, that guillotine choke is tight. Now he's in trouble. He's going to go to sleep. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, and a head kick there. Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. So once again, Khabib Nurmagomedov dominating. Nurmagomedov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Emilianenko. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. 60 seconds. Nice. 
Fedor Emelianenko gets back up again. He missed with that jab attempt there. Big shot lands for both guys. For hooks. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand a strike with anybody in the UFC. Under 20. Oh, nice double hook, yes. In the half guard. Final seconds here in round one. All right, has the guard closed here. Nurmagomedov getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Second round, straight ahead. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. You can't eat shots like that. The judges are going to score it against you, and they're right. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Oh, nice block, and then immediately moves in for a counter kick to the body. Good stuff there by Nurmago Medov. And there's that jab. Nice shot there by the champ. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early, and he lands off. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Oh, he might be in trouble. That looks locked in. He's advanced to a finisher position. This is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from it. Fedor's back in half court. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Oh, back and forth we go. Nice block. Well, that strike landed cleanly. Very nice leg kick there by Emilian Echo. Got that single collar tie locked in. Big double leg, double change. Under three minutes now here in round two. And Marco Medov's looking for that arm triangle now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, great submission work, defense. Pedro Emelianenko gets back up. advantage was his at the outset, and he was able to take advantage there with the punch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, big knee! Single collar tie now. So three minutes have flown off the fight clock there. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. He's trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh, caught him with a head. 
Great kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. It's not over. It's not over. Keep so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Rear naked choke. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. Oh! Oh, I thought he was going to go out. Instead, he escapes and reverses. He didn't go out. He got out. Great job defensively by the fighter. Oh, looks like another submission attempt now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. How in the world did he escape that submission? Side control now. Champ, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. Seconds here of round two. All right, single collar tie now. Look at how he drives oh. the lead. Right into the opponent's midsection. Two rounds in the books. We are so close so many times. This is how we're going to get it. We know the way he's going to try and get out. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. Yeah, man, you Ready see two high-level grapplers Ready. going after it. Yeah. One guy gets an advantage, the other guy always has a response. We thought it was over. A lesser opponent would have been submitted, but these two are two of the best grapplers in the entire UFC. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Great timing. Pretty good work off of the bottom here by Fader. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Making all these shots count. <laughs> Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. There's that head kick. Another head kick land. Down here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts by beating him on the entry. Now, Nurmago Medov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Good movement on the ground here defensively by Emilianenko. He's gotta be careful here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Nice transition. Fedor Emelianenko gets back up again. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Straight right hand, no good. Under three minutes now to go in round three. Another takedown lead. Big right hook there by the champ. Nurmago Medov's in half guard. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Setting up an arm bar now. What a tight arm bar. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, he's out. He actually escaped. Look, i got to stop writing this dude's obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. 
Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Investing in the body with the kick there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown here, but he misses. Beautiful combination of top. Under two minutes to go in round three. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Khabib's in half All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his... Gotta watch his neck. Oh, Darce Choke locked and loaded. Oh, so now he bails on the submission. He bailed, and rightfully so. You keep the dominant position. Great job. Very smart fighter we got there. He's having his way with him here. Change of the position. Oh, and he's back up again. All right, watch out for the setup here. DC, I know you don't pay your bets, but I'll bet you 100 bucks he goes for another takedown here. <laughs> If I don't pay, then why are you paying me? I'll yell in the octagon and go, man, don't shoot so that I can get paid. But if I'm bet, I'm trying to take you over. I believe that he's gonna get another takedown, so I would try to force you into saying that he doesn't do it again or something. I'll I don't see. know. See. I'm not the gambling guy. You're the gambling guy. You can twist me up with your word. Nice single. Fighter able to reverse position on the ground and gain a dominant position. Nicely done. We got a scramble here. Ground and pound strike there now. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. The fighter blocks the punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nurmagomedov gets tattooed by that straight punch. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not get... Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Nurmagomedov's Medov's in half guard. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, he escapes. He got oh, come on. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. And now he's got the back. 
All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities where you can either escape or sweep. Very fast jab lands for him. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Just missed with the leg kick. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. If this guy doesn't move his head, his night is about to end. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Push off his head, posture. Oh, hammer fists and bunches here by Fader. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, the high kick lands. Cannot take those leg kicks clean like that. And they get to the clinch. Guys, look for him to find an option. He's got multiple. He's got takedowns. He's got slams. He's got throws. He's got all his weapons available to him. Look for him to advance to the next position. Fedor Emelianenko gets caught with that punch. Another big takedown. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Well, he's got his back now. inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Mm, that was nice. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. Nurmago Medov's got his head. Let's see if he can secure a guillotine choke here. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Great submission defense on this play tonight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. You ready to fight? Ready. It is the fifth and final round. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques, constantly changing the angle, never allowing his opponent to get a beat on what type of finish he was trying to go to. Nice straight right lands. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. Look at that. Recognizing he's about to lose position. Oh, right into Mount. Fedor Emelianenko getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. 
Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. He's postured up. He's landed big grind pump. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's gonna get stopped. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. I mean, these wrestling transitions. All right, so back to the feet we go after a lot of ground fighting. We'll see if he can rally here late in this final round. John, he needed this. He needed to get up to give himself an opportunity. Now he's got a chance. Does he cash in? Unable to connect with the right. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish, or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you oh and he locks up a triangle. That looks tight, DC. It's very tight. And now he's just got to start passing the arm across, pulling down on the head, feet the hips, and he will definitely get the submission. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Let's go. Oh, huge ground strike there. I can see the cup man's actually getting excited. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Oh, switch kick. How good was that? He switches the hip really fast and gets that leg up real quick to the target. Back and forth we go. Somehow, his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Attempting a choke now. Oh, that killing is tight. You gotta be careful here. Oh, postures up and delivers a big ground and pound strike to the head. Nicely done there by Emilianenko. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the rack. Nicely done. All right, he's got side control. He looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolated to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Great submission defense on full display by the Emilianenko's got him in a crucifix now, gonna go to work from the top. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can turn back and forth action right until the final the horn. Fight. That one's gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation. Well, what a title fight it was, what a showcase it was for this division, but at the end of the day, the champion just did a little bit more, and you gotta think he gets the nod, right? I believe it was the championship experience that allowed him to push through in those spots that he needed to in order to keep his championship. I agree with you, J.A. I think he keeps his belt. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision.
All three judges score this contest 49 46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Hermano Mena. All right, so judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov competes, but he gets it done by decision and keeps that.